The National Theater is adapting it for the stage for its Christmas 2009 production. Oh, to be in England. <laughs> Terry was also awarded more honorary doctorates, and this September, of course, marks the first North American Discworld Convention. <laughs> At last count, Terry has sold over 60 million copies of his books, including over 36 Discworld novels, and he'll probably have written another by the time you hear this, <laughs> translated into at least 37 languages. Terry's witty and insightful writing for adults and children of all ages has inspired a bona fide publishing phenomenon featuring tie-in books, plays, radio adaptations, telefilms, games, art, stamps, Signing sessions lasting longer than the complete Wagnerian ring cycle <laughs> and worldwide conventions. Despite all this, the U.S. used to be a place where Terry's, I'm sorry, where Terry's satirical fantasies were not released so much as, quote, allowed to escape, <laughs> as he once wryly observed. However, with the support of a new publisher, HarperCollins, recent years have seen thought and making money, placing fourth on the New York Times bestseller list, the BFTA award-winning Hogfather, and star-studded Color of Magic miniseries, reaching U.S. as well as U.K. audiences. Director Sam Raimi optioning the We Free Men and <laughs> the launch of the first North American Discworld Convention. America has finally discovered Terry. Increasingly, so have the critics. Lauded as everything from, quote, one of the more significant contemporary English satirists to a modern day Chaucer, Terry has racked up an impressive list of awards. Along with those listed above, Terry has been awarded a Carnegie Medal and an appointment as an officer of the Order of the British Empire for services to literature which he categorically denies writing. <laughs> but he accepted the honor anyway because it would make his mom proud. <laughs> More populist accolade, accolades include the W.H. Smith People's Choice Book Award, multiple Locus Awards, World Con Guest of Honor, being the most shoplifted author in UK books, <laughs> Brownie Scout, and a sh it's true, I tell you, it's true, a rubber chicken is involved at some point, oh it is, and a shared spot with Dickens as the most nominated author on the BBC's Big Read Top 100 list, although he has the unarguable advantage of being less dead than Dickens. <laughs> Shirt proclaims. Born April 28, 1948, outside rural Baconsfield, as the only child of David, an engineer, and Eileen, a secretary, Terence David John Pratchett sold his first short story.